welcome 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 to the boxing bookie we are back we are back it is good to be back uh we got a good one for you today i'm going to get into an interesting fight an even money fight i think is fairly obvious to bet i think this is a, a pretty easy bet i think this is good money to make bet on it's owen cooper versus Ikel Asuman. Uh, it's an interesting fight with, uh, with the odds are just about even but before we get into that please like share and subscribe follow 3d boxing 3d boxing blog Follow me on all forms of social media. The boxing bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money betting on a sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on a sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Um, it's also in the little ticker below. So join the Patreon. It gets you the lock of the week. It's just $5 a month. It gets you asked to book you anything. It gets you all the updated prop bets. It gets you the best of everything. It gets you the absolute best uh, gambling advice there is in the sport of boxing, in which we make money every single week. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Owen Cooper is a fighter I like a lot. A really good-looking prospect in my estimation. I was, I'm not saying he's going to be a world champ or anything, uh, but it's a good-looking fighter. I think he beats Ikao, assuming um, 10-0, four knockouts. He seems to have more pop than that. He got his biggest win in his last fight against Ethan James. He's got other wins. He's had a little bit of, of a power surge. He, uh, well, four knockouts uh, as his competition. Well, He's got important knockouts in the last seven fights, so he, it's not exactly a power surge, but he seems to carry a little bit more power than that suggests. He's strong as an ox. Um, he, he commits to his shots. He throws hard, heavy shots. He's got a shotgun jab, hard, accurate shots, aggressive, come forward fighter. He's not your typical British fighter who's you know got that kind of, and I'm not trying to be insulting, but that kind of amateur style with it. They're looking to score points. He's looking to, to do damage. He's got heavy hands. He's a physical force that moves forward, strong, uh, and he commits to his shots. He's a pretty solid counter puncher. Needs to jab more because he's got this really heavy jab, it looks like, like a shotgun. I like his jab. Needs to throw it more. Bounces around and, and wastes energy, which is something I, I don't love. And you're going to see this in both guys. He, when he's out of rhythm, when he's not getting it going, he's bouncing around, wasting energy. That's not who he is. He just needs to come forward. He needs to work off the jab. You can faint a little, faint a little, but he needs to work off the jab and just keep coming forward. He should never take a step backwards. Uh, he gets a little wild. He, he needs to settle down. He needs to set things up better. You see him really open up and get aggressive, which I like, but it needs to be done in an intelligent way and not just getting wild. Set things up, throw your power shots, but stay composed. Good volume. He's, he's a relentless, come forward guy. And he's really good. This is what my dog He's really good with his back to the ropes. If you back him up, he, he's good. He can find himself off the ropes, which is a really good sign for a fighter like that. He gets wild, but he keeps coming. He's aggressive, committed, puncher, good volume most of the time. Uh, that gets a little sloppy and, and reckless. But you can see what kind of fighter he is. He, he's a good fighter. He's got power. I, I know his, his knockout percentage doesn't really show that, but he's he's got good power. He's relentless. He throws hard shots. He commits to his shots, but he gets a little sloppy. Cal Esmond, I, I just don't see it, see it uh, in, in this guy. And I, I know he's got some decent wins. Um, he's got a solid record. He, he's done well at the British level. He's 19-1. and one. His only loss is in his last fight to Harry Scarf, who's not – really good he's got a, a win over chris congo he's got a, a, a another close decision victory over samuel antwi so he's got some decent wins uh darren tetley he stopped danny ball somehow he's got a win over chris jenkins he's been able to tyrone nurse as well he's got uh solid wins over decent british level fighters and i just don't see it in him um pressure he wants to come forward, but he can fight both ways. He, he's quick and, and, and he's more athletic. Uh, I wouldn't say he's a, he's a dynamic athlete, but he's more athletic than, than Cooper for sure. Doesn't carry much pop. He doesn't have a ton of volume. Matter of fact, he really, if, he, if he's not in range where he wants to be, he really, really shells up. 
He doesn't really commit to his shots. Um, I, this is not a lot to love. He's a decent athlete with decent movement who's got a nice jab. Uh, he's 35 years old. He's got a great gas tank. He can go well into the fight. And, and, and if the fight goes in at, to, to the deep stages, which I expect it to do, I expect him to do well in the late rounds. Um, but I don't think that's going to be enough. He's got good feet. He knows how to cut the ring off on you. He knows how to stay in front of you. He's got a pretty solid ring IQ, I guess. He just looks like an opponent to me who can survive at the next level. Now, what we're going to find out is about Owen Cooper. Is Owen Cooper at the next level or is he stri strictly a British-level guy? He's another guy that wastes energy. You'll see him bouncing around, bouncing around, not doing much. But he's he got a good gas tank, and he carries it into the later rounds. But at 35, that's going to start to catch up to you, or at least it's something to keep an eye on. Doesn't let his hands go like we talked about. And, you know, we've seen him fight both ways. We've seen him fight off the front foot. We've seen him fight off the back foot. We've seen him be ultra conservative. And we've seen him open up uh, with power shots. It, it, it's a hard guy to gauge. He, he fights each fight according to the opponent. He's fighting an aggressive guy, so I'm guessing he's going to be off the back foot. I just think he's going to give rounds away. I think he's going to get rounds away. I think he's going to get dented up. And I really like Owen Cooper by points. Um, although, you know, assuming – will be in the fight. It, it, it'll be competitive. I just don't see him being able to win rounds here. So I really like Cooper by decision. Um, we're going to place that bet. They don't have odds on it yet. If it drops, we're going to go to the Patreon. Um, join five dollars a month for the Patreon uh, and, and get the up-to-date props when they do drop because it hasn't dropped on this yet on DraftKings. All we have is the, uh, is the money line. Each guy is minus 15, so it's it's even money on this. I like uh, Owen Cooper on a one-times bet. So your typical bet, in this case, $100, will make you $87. It's a nice little bet. Uh, I think it's safe. Like I said, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. I like him by decision. I think this fight definitely goes the distance, but I really like uh, Owen Cooper to win this fight. I think this is a, a good bet to make money on. Uh, so Owen Cooper on the money line is the bet. But if you want the updated props, come over to the uh, Patreon. It's five dollars a month. The link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker in that banner below. And we're going to take a look at Owen Cooper uh, on uh, by points, and we're going to look at uh, Owen Cooper. Owen Cooper by decision. And we're going to look at the over. Those are the two bets I want to look at. I want to see the odds on. Uh, but for today's show, Owen Cooper money line minus one fifteen hundred dollar bet makes you eighty seven dollars. I think it's a good bet. I, I think it's safe. It is July eighteenth, twenty twenty four. Uh, let's bring down the house together from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.